This is an op M question where you have a microphone processed using a non-inverting amplifier. What's the purpose of amplifier to make louder law? Turn up the volume so you can hear YouTube louder amplifier. The amplifier incorporates an op amp. State by reference to the input and output signals. What's the purpose of a non-inverting amplifier? Uh, can you remember what is a non-inverting amplifier about? Amplifier is to, you know, uh, increase the gain, yes, but they want you to refer to the input and output signal. What do you do to the input and output? If you send in the input positive, your output is also positive. Non-inverted, so always positive. If you send your input to be negative, your output also negative, non-inverted. So you want to describe that as a function. So firstly, you want to talk about the output signal and how that relates. Okay, so if you have some, oh, I'm just going to use one line to show the in and the out. There will be some multiplier, maybe two times larger, three times larger, four times larger, but it will be proportional too. So your input is proportional. Uh, sorry, your output is several times larger from your input, your gain. There's an equation for it, by the way. V out over V in equals your gain. Gain is fixed uh, usually, depending on circuit. So you can say your output equals to gain times your input. So that's what it means by V out is proportional to V in. So let's start with that. So your, I was going to write that V out. Write in English lah, okay. Output signal due to a fixed gain is proportional to your input signal right here. And also don't forget to mention, uh, this statement is true for inverting or non-inverting, but you want to also mention why what makes non-inverting special. That means the same polarity. So you can also add on uh, where the output and the input signal has the same polarity. Same positive, you remain positive. Negative, you remain negative. So you send in a wave like this, you come out also like this. You won't flip it upside down. Okay, this is two marks. One for talking about the gain. What's the purpose of amplifier? To amplify, so proportional and also same polarity, which is specific for a non-inverting amplifier. Now we talk about gain. Uh, let's actually calculate it from the circuit. So the output potential difference is given to us 2.6 volts. They didn't label, right? Mm, no, they didn't label. Okay, never mind. Output potential is 2.6 here. When in but potential at P is 84 millivolt. What are we supposed to find? Determine the gain of the amplifier circuit. What's the equation for non-inverting gain? Ah, ha, ha. Okay, you need to remember what is non-inverting gain equation. Or there are many different kinds of equation actually. So let's see, what can we do to find the gain? Gain can be V out over V in or another equation that relates all the resistors. But you see, we cannot use a resistor equation. Why? Because if you look carefully at the feedback loop, which is this part, there is an unknown resistor. So we cannot use the resistor equation. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just stick to the voltage equation. We have V out, which is twenty six, a uh, 2.6. But what is the V in? Which V in are we looking at? Turns out V in is pretty much the same. 84 millivolt is already given, so that is 0. Point. Oh, how many are 1, 2, 3? Wow, I certainly cannot. 0, 8, 4. <laughs> Either on the V minus side, which should also be the roughly or the same as the V minus V plus side. Why is it the same? Because amplifier, the feedback loop's purpose that we highlighted is to make sure the inputs V plus and V minus is roughly the same. Stability, ma, you want your amplifier to be stable. So you don't need to go to infinite gain. So that's the input. Lo. You can choose either one. It's the same thing. So you take 2.6, divide by uh, 0 0.084 and you will get about 31. Oh, that's quite a big, that's quite a loud gain. Maybe the microphone very soft. You need to amplify quite a lot. So, rewrite this equation down there. And, yeah, your final answer, 31. 
One mark only? Okay, final answer. Don't overthink, ah. If you see it's one mark, it's probably one straightforward calculation. Now we go to the second part. Find the, ah, find the resistance of resistor R. Now remember I mentioned there's two equations for gain. Gain generally can be calculated by the ratio of V out to V in. How many times larger is V out? Or an equation specifically for non-inverting input. And this will be 1 plus your RF over R. This equation is only for non-inverting amplifier circuit. The inverting amplifier has a different equation. Got negative sign one. Okay, okay, anyway. So we know the gain. We need to figure out which, which, which one is RF, which one is R. RF is your feedback resistor. So we go back to our circuit here. And let's see the feedback path. So I'm going to highlight it from output, come out. Go past this one. Ah, the first resistor that you pass from the output, this one is what we call our feedback resistor. Feedback resistor, also known as RF in many equations. Okay, then you will pass by your input and then keep going to ground. This is your R. Lor. Okay, so RF is going to be this one, 15 kilo ohms. Let's sub in all the values in there. So now we know our gain is 31. So we just write all 31 equals to 1 plus, this is 15 kilo ohm over R. Press the calculator correctly. You should get about uh, 500 ohm as your resistance. Two marks for this. So this one, first mark is from your equation. Did you know how to plug into this one or not? Make sure memorize, uh, okay? Please memorize this one. The one in the box. And of course, your final answer, one more mark. All right. For the circuit of 7.1 shown earlier, suggest a device to connect to the output so that the sound received by the microphone may be examined. Huh? Why would you want to... Okay. How? Okay. So, so, so we try to simplify the diagram a bit. You have a op amp. I'm going to simplify the drawing. Connected to a microphone. How to draw a microphone uh, like that. So the microphone will receive some kind of sound, convert that to an electrical signal, and you can send it out, lah, which is much bigger now. Because 31 times larger. Because the gain is 31. But where do you want to send it to? Send to speaker. Lah. Can lah. Uh you send it to a speaker, you can hear the wave, but you cannot really examine the wave. What's the frequency? What's the amplitude? We don't know. So maybe don't send to speaker. Send it to something that can read waves, which is also known as the CRO. On the CRO screen, you can actually see this wave oh, like that. Ah, so CRO is the one you want to talk about. Speaker, I mean, you can hear it, but you can't examine it with your eye. Come, I draw an eye for you. There we go. <laughs> That's a very scary eye. So we say here CRO. Oscilloscope. Okay, next one. State and explain the effect on the V out of increasing the resistance of R. What is R? Go back to our equation here. This one, now you're changing R and you're saying how does it affect V out. Let's rewrite the equation a bit here. Okay, so V out over V in equals to 1 plus RF over R. So if you change R, how does that affect V out? How are you changing R again? You are increasing. So this one become larger. When R increase, this fraction becomes smaller. So V out will also become smaller, decrease. Mm, okay. So you can say that when R decreases, eh, when R increases, maybe you want to talk about gain or so, because huh? this whole thing equals to gain. Gain? Gain decreases. And V out is smaller. That's pretty handy. Because you know what you could do? 
I could turn R into a ooh, potential meter, which is what we see a lot in a lot of speaker uh, sound system. Uh. Amplifier, uh, you have this knob, uh, volume knob, that goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and your volume is currently at 1. Then you can turn the knob, right? When you turn the knob, you change the gain. Uh, you change the resistance of a certain resistor inside the potential meter. That will affect the gain and have volume that actually come out on the other end of the speaker. So this one, anyway, talk about R increases, gain reduce or decreases. That's one mark. And talk about how V out is smaller. One mark. Okay, so that's all for this op amp question. Pretty interesting one about microphone and op amps. Go turn some volume knobs in your house and you will see and hear what it means. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.